Hi there, this is JJ's Lady Tutorials, and today I've got you a new video with circles. Of course, this is like an ongoing problem with everybody, kids and adults that do Lego and Lego designers. How do you make circles from bricks? That's like a Lego brick. It's blocky. It's got straight sides, right angles, block, 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 okay? So, how do you make something round? I know there's specialized pieces like cylinders and other stuff that are round, but what if you wanted to make circles with only bricks? So, I'm going to show you a few of my designs of circles. Except, of course, circles vary in size, so this is going to be a problem, because when a circle is really small, it's not that circular. Like, in pictures, it is, but in Lego you can't do this. Like, for now, I'll show you a six-wide circle. That is the the only design, pretty much, that looks like a circle, even though it doesn't. Like this. So, like, how is that a circle? Well, it's the best you can do. Now, think of this. If we take off these sides, it's a square, okay? You see? Square, diamond, whatever. Like a, like an actual Lego brick. It's blocky. But a circle is just adding on pieces to the square to give it round edges. Like, so we, when we're doing it like that, we could either do like all four here, but that wouldn't give it like enough, too much round. So by adding these here, you give it more roundness. As you can see like here, instead of being like bloop, it's more of a wee. Not exactly, but it's best you can do. So this is a 6x6. Six six. Now, the good thing is, the bigger you get, the better the circles. Now let's go to a 8x8, eight eight, like this. Now, I'm sorry this is background's right, so you might be hard to see. If you do this, you can see better. Um, so here we have pretty much the same design as last time. So there's a big middle piece, and it goes smaller on each side up here and over here. Of course, this is like the best you can do. If you add any notches, it's going to look like a random hectagon or octagon or whatever. So like, this is the best circle you can do. But, as you can notice, it's not really good. And, as I noticed before, if you turn it like this, it actually looks like a square. Because you've got these here. So it's like really squarish. So it's a bit round, but not really. So now it brings me to how big you have to get before a circle gets cool. Well, I think it's about this size, 12 by 12. Of course, people have done giant structures, like, I mean like 128 by 128, and then it's a giant circle, and like, weld on it or whatever. That's gigantic, and because it's so big, it's very specific, all the little pieces, so it looks like an actual circle. Sphere, whatever. So like, like that. You see, like that, like that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna build a circle over here on this. So first, you've got. I want to do what happened in these two designs. If you can see what's in common, it's pretty much just the middle, like in here. The middle is the biggest, and then goes smaller and smaller. Like here, there's a big middle. Smaller and smaller and smaller, but when doing uh, this, let's just try. Actually, we won't try. I just tell you, if you, I've already tried this. If you did two and two at the end, it's horrible. It's just sad, sad. So I'm gonna make it four by four, as in like the edges will be four. So I have this random assortment of Lego bits next to me that I'll be using. <laughs> Wait, why is it not a Lego? I'll just show you what I mean. As in 4x4. Four 4 four across. So this is going to be like the edges. See like, each edge is going to have 4. And I have to connect up this bits. Okay. So now let's go. Um, I could fill it in. But yeah, I'm going to do that anyway. I'm going to fill in these bits. So if we add one of these, why is this so retarded? God. Uh, 
I'm gonna re add this. Uh, I'm gonna re add all this. Wait, that's wrong. What? Yes, it is. I'm a genius, aren't I? Uh, 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 there you go. And this. And now we add like on this. That's not right. Yes, it is. It's beautiful. Is that right? No, that's not right either. That's right. So we need, and this, sorry, I'm just talking to myself casually. You're probably getting not that entertained. Just staring at me building something. So, how was your day today? Anything interesting happened? Of course, I woke up, as usual, on the wrong side of the bed. Yeah. Which for me is always the right side, towards the wall. And then, okay, last week, last week, there you go. Now, here we have a circle. Well, it's not perfect, but look at it. It's more circular than normal. Now, notice the difference. If you exploded this, it wouldn't equal this. Because, as we make this bigger, there's still going to be like the same two or four on the edges. And this is going to be going straight over here, right? So it's going to be like bigger, smaller, 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 over here. Bigger, bigger, bigger. So what I've been changed here is that instead of bigger, bigger, okay, look at it like this now. Is that square? Not really. It's more circular. This is cause normally we would we would have cut across like from here all the way across. But what we did, we added these two. Cause because it was bigger, you can have more pixels, more studs. And they get more realistic. So as I said, if it, this was 128 by 128, then it would be super specific. Like, you know what pi is? In maths, pi is this number that if you get the circumference and divide it by the diameter, you get pi. It's all mathsy. Um, so pretty much what it means, if you get the measure around the outside, which is quite hard, of a circle, and then divide it by the distance across, you get a number called pi. Which is like 3.1415926535 something 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 etc etc, and this is big number. It's easy to working out how perfect a perfect circle is. So what scientists do, trying to make the perfect circle, they get a circle and they do the diameter and the circumference bit to get pi, and they know what pi is. They're just trying to work it out more and more by making better circles. So this way, they're making more better circles. Anyway. Then what they're gonna do, they w do this and they work it out. So if you saw this circle will be better than this one. Okay? Um, so yeah. Right, so a good way to check if it's circular is you get it and you start turning it around. Wee wee. And you should notice if you keep it steadily like the middle point in the same spot, that it same, seems to be the same distance around. It's so like this, this from here to here is the same as from here to here, from here to here, and an etc, etc. So there you go. I'm only going to do this 12 by 12. I won't do any bigger or giganticer. But I hope you've learned something. And of course, it brings up one more question. So far we've done circles. Flat. What if we had to raise it up to make like a world globe? Well, hmm, that's another question altogether.